So now uh, that the PNAD has been published uh, on the 3D environment, I'm going to retrieve that information uh, from the Smart Plan Foundation server. At this point, um, the PNAD will be read, and all the information uh, available on the PNAD will be available on the Smart Plan 3D environment. That includes pipelines, uh, pipe and runs, um, e e e equipment mm -hmm. tags, instrument tags. The software is now communicating with the Smart Plan Foundation server, and it's getting the list of documents that are available for Smart Plan 3D to, be, to retrieve. It's also checking credentials like permissology, uh, so it's looking for my um, username to be able to retrieve information. So as you can see, the revision and version are the same that Efren just published, so revision 1, version 4. I will select this PNID to be retrieved. And one of the first things we will notice is that under the Area 1, Unit 1, on the Workspace Explorer window, um, the software will create all the pipelines that belong to that particular PNID, like, uh, which is the first step of integration. After we have those pipelines, we will um, select them to start routing all pipes from the PNID. Once it's done, we will have the ability to see the PNID in, inside the Smart Plan 3D environment. And as we see that PNAD, we will have a color coded system that will tell us what part of that PNAD has been modeled or um, actually correlated to, to the uh, 3D model. Uh, basically, those colors are blue, which means the PNAD has not been correlated, uh, red, which means the element is correlated but is in, not in total sync with the information, and um, green, which means everything has been uh, correlated and uh, it's in sync. So right now you can see that there are some pipelines created under the unit. The document has been retrieved successfully. And now we can go smart plan, view PNID. I select the PNID. I can have here the list of all the PNIDs of the project. Once I open that window, it will show me the PNID totally blue because it's not being correlated. So it's the same PNID. We will focus on these elements. I'm going to switch to my equipment task, which is the first part uh, of the demo. I will insert the equipment, and in this case, I will select the equipment from the PNID. So, as you can see, uh, once I hover over the equipment, the software knows that's an equipment. I, I, as I selected, I, I want to select equipment on my software, I can select the equipment on the PNAD. I cannot select a valve because that's not equipment. I can just select equipment. And once I select that equipment, the equipment tag gets placed on the Smart Plan 3D environment. Uh, once I select the command to place equipment, he knows I want to place that equipment and goes to the catalog and tries to find the better approach uh, to that equipment, which in this case is a pump. So he select this pump for me. I have multiple pumps on my catalog. I can actually select any of them. I will keep the pump that the software selected for me. And uh, now the property windows, he will show me if there are difference in the properties between the design basis and the model value. So there are also some differences, and in this case, they, they are showing red color, which means this, uh, basically the name of the nozzles are different on the design basis than the model. I will update them, close this window, I will have my property window open now where I can define the system I want to place my equipment in. I will accept and now I am able to place my pump on my model.
Now this poem has its place from the PNID, and I want to show you that if I open the PNID again, the color of the poem has changed on the PNID. That's what I told you before, the uh, color coding system. We can see here the color code system we're using where but basically we have blue, which is not correlated, red, which is correlated, but there is a property difference, and then green, which is correlated and uh, everything is perfect. Uh, we have substatus like properties matching, but topology is not, and in this case, uh, the POM is on that status. The POM itself, it's uh, correlated, but the nozzles are not correlated, so the topology of the POM has a mismatch in characteristics, so we will take care of that. At this point, I'm, I'm going to select the piping nozzles of the pump, and I'm going to select correlate with the same basis. He will ask me for the PNAD item to be correlated. I will select the suction in this case. So now I'm going to correlate the pipe nozzles from this pump with the nozzles on the PNAD. I select correlate with the same basis. I open my PNAD and I will select the nozzle. In this case, there are some differences like the name uh, and the um, fabrication status, so I will take those values. And now, you can see the nozzle has changed color on the pin ID to green. So let's do the same with the next nozzle, correlate with the same basis. I select the nozzle on the 3D. I select the nozzle on the pin ID it shows me what is different. Click update. And now my nozzle and my pump turn green on the PNID. So it means this equipment is in total sync with the design basis information, which is the PNID. Let's now start routing a pipe. So I'm going to switch to my piping task. And we will route the suction of the pump. So I'll just start routing. I select my start point. And he knows I want to route from the PNID because this equipment is correlated to the PNID. So actually, he gets all the information. The pipeline is already filling in, the name, the spec the diameter. If we go to temperature and pressure, the temperature and pressure have, um, are coming from the PNID as well. I click OK. And I start my routing. 